Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Absolute Power Task Force 7, number four. This is a new book from DC Comics. Let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. Uh, this book is written by Ponsac Pinochet, uh, Claire Raw on art, Lee Lowridge on colors, letters by Dave Sharp. This is the Fury of Failsafe. So each one of these issues has been giving us a perspective from one of the androids. And one of the androids, you have to remember, is Failsafe. He's only a an android that has a backup copy of the Surinar uh, personality, um, which has also maybe now been tweaked by Amanda Waller. We don't know how deep she's gotten into the system after um, after Task Force recover. Um, you know, uh, Task Force has recovered the body. So, in this issue, the mechanical murder man is a failsafe. The relentless android with all of Batman's skills and none of his morals hunts Nightwing and his newest recruits. A chilling issue from acclaimed writer, uh, and of course we have. Uh, and a man on the run from Amanda Waller and her um, amazing um, and her amazo army. Dick Grayson is gathering heroes to bolster the growing resistance. Even his su surprising new allies may not be enough to protect them from the brutal consequences when Failsafe finds their hidden lair. Uh, so yeah, this is a really interesting way to approach this book because now that amanda waller has all the power along with you know failsafe and and the brainiac queen um who is going to kind of step up to like superheroes have no powers there are these organizations that are kind of uh failing and fluttering from all this like the the power balance has shifted in amanda waller's direction so that's really interesting uh so we started this issue with uh nightwing and his gang uh, they picked the mace, the Court of Owls hideout as their base of operations. Uh, of course, the government should not really be aware of this, but Failsafe as a backup of Batman is. Uh, so we get to see a lot of really cool confrontation between Nightwing and the people that he's kind of leading, which are all at this point base level humans or people that have lost their powers. We get to see uh, a white Martian, Magan, uh, Miss Martian, uh struggle with the lack of having powers and what that feels like i think that uh Pichu said does a really good job just kind of bringing you that emotional gut gut punch when it comes to that uh let me bring some of the art i'm not familiar with the rose art clitoro i don't know what else they might have done but this is uh very cool stuff i love the look of the of gotham city as we approach we kind of see uh voodoo running around the maze uh, and then, of course, everything reminiscent of the Mace of Owls that was created by Greg Capullo. And, of course, Failsafe, fantastic design. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I think Rose doing a really good job bringing all this kind of back to life. Here you can see the Ray, Nightwing, Robin, and, of course, Miss Martian, uh, who has lost her powers. Uh, so they're trying to figure out how are they going to take down Amanda Waller? Can they even take down Failsafe? Uh, also, how are they working with the Court of Owls? It's all very interesting stuff. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I think this uh, this Task Force uh, 7 series is, like I've mentioned in previous videos, it's essential reading to the Absolute Power event. Uh, even if you're not reading all the other stuff, I think this is something that you really want to check out, especially because Absolute Power is only four issues. This is going to be seven issues, and they've been coming out every, you know, um, filling in the gaps of whenever we don't have an absolute power issue. Uh, we're getting a lot of really cool stuff from many different creative teams. Uh, so yeah, highly, highly recommend you check this out. So if you picked up this uh, issue, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.